Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Yusuf Abujaderi, partner and one of the senior financial planners on our team. Today, I'll be taking you through a quick presentation of our investment philosophy. We hope you find it helpful and engaging. So let's dive in. We'll be focusing our discussion on the following core principles, all of which are evidence-based as one of our core values is to artfully apply the best available science in everything that we do. First, markets and economies are biased towards growth because markets and economies represent the aggregate consumption, savings, and investment decisions of all the humans in the, wor in the world, and humans are fundamentally growth-seeking beings. Next, we never invest in individual company stocks. There's just no way you can diversify enough. We instead use open-end mutual funds, baskets of stocks that enable us to tap into specific parts of the market and harness what we call deep regularities in pursuit of growth. That way, we can have 10 investments, the 10 different mutual funds that we use, in our stock portfolio, and through those investments, we get access to more than 13,000 companies. Next, we prefer small company stocks to those of large companies, as they've historically earned better returns. There's no magic here. It's a risk-reward relationship. Small company stocks carry a higher risk profile, so they must yield a higher expected return for investors to find them attractive. And to mitigate the risk, we diversify broadly. Historically, small company stocks have earned nearly more than 4% per year on average than those of their larger counterparts. We also prefer value company stocks to growth companies for the same reasons. Again, higher expected return. Value companies are those that are trading at a lower price relative to their more expensive competitors. We seek to invest at a relative low point with the intention of capitalizing on the company's performance going forward. In other words, we're looking to buy low so that we can sell high in the future. We diversify broadly in this area too to mitigate risk and historically, value stocks have earned more than 4% per year on average than their growth counterparts. We also don't believe that any one country should take up a disproportionately large segment of the portfolio. So we invest internationally and domestically on a pro rata basis based on each country's respective share of the market relative to that of the world. And lastly, we deal with volatility and harness growth by looking for opportunities to rebalance. We look at all of our clients' accounts every two weeks to ensure each component of their portfolio is taking up the appropriate amount of space. When something is performing better than the rest of the portfolio and gets to be too big, we trim a bit off the top and invest in something that hasn't been performing quite as well. Again, the intent is to buy low and sell high to maximize the portfolio's performance. And that's it. It's an approach that requires discipline and a belief in human beings' abilities to be resilient in the face of challenges, something we collect more evidence on by the day. Thanks for watching.